everybody. Welcome back to Phantom Liberty. Let's check out this Heavy Hearts Club. Uh, got a shard over there on the bottom. Oh, shard right here. Hello. Sorry, excuse me. Don't mind me. Just uh, investigating. Biased guide on Dogtown, Night City's Wild West. Oh, <laughs> sorry to be to spill your drinks. Oh, God. So this is a biased guide. Okay. You in Night City? Seen all the highlights, Corpo Plaza, Norfolk, Japantown, even the trauma hospital and other places that the NC authorities can be proud of? Then it's now time for Dogtown, the part of Night City that those in power would like to forget if they could. Start with my guide to NC to get a good taste of what awaits you beyond the gates to Dogtown. Oh, this is actually going to come in really handy. If Pacifica, Haywood or Santo Domingo don't finish you off and you're in the mood for more, I have the perfect DT tour for you. Stop one, the gate. <laughs> Literally. Just getting to Dogtown is an adventure of sorts, and even seeing the gate is worth the trek through Pacifica. And if its size or the guards armed to the teeth don't intimidate you, hit me up and I'll get you the paperwork to pass inspection. <laughs> For a fee, of course. Dogtown obviously does not offer... F Actually, that's a thought. Huh. Um, does not offer official tourist visas, but here anything could be arranged. I just thought to myself, what exactly is the huge gate, the massive Militech branded concrete gate that we saw when we first spoke to Songbird. Because that had a vehicle gate as well, but it kind of went straight into the stadium. Where does where does that lead? Huh. Um anyway, I'm sure there's a in fact thinking about it, I'm sure there's a pedestrian walk through there as well. So I need to go and visit the stadium sometime soon and have a proper look around. Stop at two black sapphire. That's one of the towers, isn't it? On your left you'll see a huge tower the Black Sapphire Hotel. Oh, so that's uh, next to next to the gate. Hmm. Uh, it was supposed to be synonymous with luxury and power to shock and awe the downtrodden citizen. It works, albeit in a more somber way. Particularly noteworthy is the very grand floor of the building, extending downward, reminiscent of gilded buttresses. Oh, I know which one that is. Yeah, that's the um, that's the one with the sort of golden lines coming down. So it's not the one with the huge screen attached to it. It's the one just next to it. They give the building a gothic sort of vibe. Warning, do not try to enter Black Sapphire by force. You will be sternly stopped by Bargist. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd imagine sternly stopped meaning wiped off the face of the earth. Stop three, Jason Exiled. Oh, I see. This is some of the, uh, the more monument style buildings. Across the street, you'll see a great big head. That's Jason Exiled. That's got a... It sounded like it was some sort of BD lounge. I was bouncing around there when I was trying to get to um, the supply drop that landed halfway up the Broken Tower. The latest work of a renowned monumentalist, Imelda Ayala Carballo. For some, it's the incorporation of the sculpture into Eden Plaza and the shopping arcade that directly connects the uh, to the casino that is the, great, uh, the artist's greatest achievement. According to some, however, she couldn't have known about the final shape of the place, so the context here is coincidental, and Carballo simply sold her final work to the highest bidder. <laughs> That's probably more likely. Stop four, the stadium. A must-see spot, an extensive marketplace stocked with everything your heart desires. Nobody wants to crank up your synaptic accelerate... Uh, hold on, nobody wants to... Oh, I see. Nobody wants to crank up your synaptic accelerator into overload? Well, here someone surely already will. Your dream operating system is sold out everywhere. Somewhere in the stadium, you're likely to find a prototype of the next generation. Want to get a tattoo? You got it. Hungry? Grab a bite. Incendiary ammo? Spill some eddies and the world's your oyster. Tranquil Terrace. Okay. The green refuge of the neighborhood, though quite wilted by now. From here, you'll have a nice view of Dogtown. Just be careful. Don't act like a fool. VDBs roam the area and they don't want no tomfoolery on their turf. On the left, you'll see a hill with a departing rocket. That's your next stop. Oh, that's the that's the, the the statue of oh I know what they're talking about. That's the statue of um the rocket that is in the southern area that Typhoon I'm sure Typhoon said it's it's a center for cyberware and uh space travel. I wanna go and poke around there. <laughs> but yeah, this green area, I think it's possibly the area coming down those flights of steps, coming down from the giant sort of Oreo Tower. Terra Cognita. The remains of what was meant to be a cutting-edge technological park. Cemetery of progress, forgotten novelties, abandoned dreams. Oh no, Terra Cognita. Right, that's Terra Cognita, the space place. That's where we're meant... Hold on. Isn't that where we're meant to be meeting this guy? Ooh, I want to get over there now. I especially uh, recommend Organitopia. There's a bunch of hollow dinosaur exhibits. 
place really gives you a tropical blast from the distant past kind of feel. Nice! Stop 7. Pyramid Party. The pyramid's where the heavy heart club's at. The entrance is guarded by a few neon Anubises. It's definitely worth a visit if you want to see where and how business is done in Dogtown. Knew it. Don't eavesdrop too hard though, rather bask in the feel of the place. Have a drink, have a dance, have fun! If you're the daring and glib type, maybe you could even get your hands on some stims that haven't even reached NC yet. I recommend dousing your hangover in longshore stacks, that's where I thought they were talking about. Wander among the containers, grab a bite at the moth, get wasted with the locals again, <laughs> and really get a feel for the place. Soak in the real atmosphere of Dogtown. Awesome! That was actually pretty handy. Um, okay. Quick whistle stop tour of, uh, of everything else just to see what's what. Um, I, not that I want to sort of teach you your job, but holy crap, this place is looking sorry. You need to uh, step up your cleaning game. I kind of am selling her a job. Oh, hello. Texas Hold'em recent winnings. Uh, right, do we recognize. Oh, these are big numbers. We recognize any names here? Matthew Nan. Uh, hmm. Nakonenchny. Uh, Leader Doyle, Jacob Ostapiuk, Elmer Price. Remember not to seat these players until uh, EOM, end of month. Hmm. So they have Holden tables somewhere, by the sounds of it. Anything else? No, there's a shard over there. Oh, there's a shard on the bar that I need to get as well. I think I saw a shard over here somewhere. Yeah, end table there. Hansen's a real deal. He knows the rules, keeps his house in order. Your investment will see a return. Guaranteed. Who sits above him? Only God. Oh. It's a serious question. I like knowing who I'm doing business with. No, he's his own boss. Someone who likes to make money. That's all the information I can provide. Can you live with that? <sighs> What's business without a little compromise? Am I right? So she just said the person above Hanson is somebody that likes to make money. So Hanson does answer to someone? Dogtown, a splinter in the, the eye of Night City. The combat zone, known as Dogtown, was meant to be Night City's proud calling card. Today, it's but a stain on its conscience. Forgotten by NC and its residents who consider it a monument to grand but futile designs, failed investments and complete loss of control. Dubbed Serenisans to convey a sense of tranquil ocean shores, it became anything but a haven for the excluded, fugitives and common criminals. It was only a matter of time before someone capitalized on this mess and took over the district. That someone was, of course, Colonel Kurt Hansen and his Barghast unit. This is the story of the district's downfall and subsequent rise of Hansen's criminal empire. Oh, nice. So this will give a bit of background of how Hansen managed to wrestle power from Militech. In order to paint the full picture, we have to start at the time of the Fourth Corporate War. Pacifica is being flooded with refugees from Night City proper. They seek shelter on the outskirts of the metropolis, but it quickly becomes clear they aren't welcome there. The constant influx of people creates tension, leading to a conflict with Pacifica's security forces that quickly escalates into full-blown riots. Streets are littered with bodies after violent clashes that often last for days on end. Wealthy locals and investors fear the situation is getting out of hand and decide to leave the district for good, thus expediting its downfall. Pacifica finds itself on a downward spiral and falls into ruin. Now then, that turns my understanding on its head. I thought the, I thought the investors all pulled out due to the unification war, but this is saying that due to the flood of people exiled from Night City after the Arasaka Tower bombing into the area, it became just an absolute well of. Um, of unruliness and they pulled out. Maybe there was two rounds of um, investors pulling out. Perhaps they slowly started to creep back in, started building the place up and then the unification war pushed them away again. I suppose I should just carry on reading. Maybe that would actually give me a clue. Fast forward to the 2050s. The Night City Council works to restore Pacifica to its n former glory. New in there we go, if I had just read two lines further. New investors appear, enticing the city officials with bold plans and promises of prosperity. The decade begins with wide-scale construction spearheaded by Militech. Now, didn't... I can't remember if it was uh, Myers or Songbird. I guess Songbird. One of them had mentioned that Militech invested in this area to build it up as a civilian, like a high-flying high civilian place, but really it had a military application. 
So, spearheaded by Militech, modern buildings replace dilapidated relics of the past and a high-speed road network connects Pacifica to Night City and beyond. The investment is meant to be a display of Night City's economic strength, but any such act inevitably breeds resistance. A large explosion under the construction site for the local entertainment complex ruins the buoyant moods of the Night City Council and Pacifica investors. An explosion underneath? An extensive investigation does not provide any answers and results in doubling the local security detail. More importantly, the council members decide to build a wall separating Serenitans from the rest of the city. Construction work resumes and, for a time, it seems the new measures are enough to bring the investment to completion. So they actually... So it was the... It was Knights... Night Corp, basically, that built the wall to try and protect the area whilst construction was going on. However, just a few years later, the Unification War breaks out, halting progress once again. Investors back out as completing the construction of a luxury resort drops down the financial priority list. The area, devoid of any new law enforcement, becomes a criminal haven controlled by the Voodoo Boys. Oh! So the place was deserted and the Voodoo Boys moved in. A lawless, walled-out district neighbouring an enemy city seemed like a perfect place for a military assault. Militech also seemed to share this view, and in 2070, the corporation sends their troops to Serenisans. A full-scale attack on Night City seems to be imminent, but it never happens, a lar in large part thanks to Arasaka's supercarrier entering Coronado Bay as a result of an agreement signed with Saburo Arasaka by the then-councilman Lucius Ryan. Oh, Lucius wasn't actually mayor at that point. Okay. Militech orders retreat, but a large number of troops decide to ignore the directive and remain in the area. The Arvin Accord turns Night City into a fully autonomous metropolis. The abandoned district becomes no man's land, and this is the perfect opportunity for Colonel Kurt Hansen and his ex Militech unit to take over what is now known as Dogtown. Soon, along with his veteran comrades, he establishes Bargast, uh, growing his newly found army by first recruiting mercenaries and later all willing renegades and gangoons. The district once again becomes a, uh, a sanctuary for refugees, fugitives, and travelers. Today, Dogtown has its own law enforcement and trade relations with Night City, the NUSA, and other countries. I didn't know that. They've got a formal trade agreement with the outside world? Huh. NC officials are in no hurry to address the issue of the city's noisy neighbours, and chances of rebuilding Serenisans in the future are illusory at best. It's much easier to simply look the other way, towards greener pastures. Now, exciting opportunities are easier to sell to investors than troublesome combat zones. They'd much rather start from scratch. Yeah, uh, not overly surprised. Extraterrestrial menage a trois. <laughs> what? According to international law, space belongs to everybody. Yes, yourself included. In practice, however, it's controlled by three major players. Orbital Air, the European Space Council, and the High Riders. Oh, here we go. The Kenyan Mega Corporation has completely monopolized the market of commercial space travel, and the ESC is focused in scientific exploration. So that's Orbital Air and the ESC for the good of mankind, allegedly. And the High Riders? They're simply home. They live among the stars and aren't particularly keen to welcome visitors, especially those who insist they should leave. Right, so yeah, it, the High Riders are a spacefaring or space dwelling consortium, I guess. I, I remember reading ages and ages ago about the story of several essentially work camp space stations where people went to live with the promise of sort of um a life free of the the oppressive governments of earth but instead when they got there they realized that the owners of the space stations were basically just treating it as a, a huge labor camp and um they rose up and revolted against them killed all of the uh, station owners and basically took these stations over for themselves i guess they may have sort of collaborated joined to join forces and become the high riders Nice. The tensions in relations between space nomads and the ESC, only oh, the space nomads, cool, are the result of a decades-old tussle over political and economical control of lunar and independent orbital stations. How does orbital air fit into this conflict then? Well, interestingly enough, they didn't take sides. While the corporate Goliath would be able to wipe the renegades using a fraction of its military power, it opts to stay neutral and often uh, offers to mediate between the high riders and the ESC. Oh. We can only theorise why that is, but swiping the issue with Occam's razor points us... That's that's a thing that's well known that I don't know about. Points us to the conclusion it's probably all about the money. Waging war against the native spacers, as they like to think of themselves, would bring them little to no financial benefits, while the PR damage would be disastrous, seeing as many of the high riders emigrated from Africa and obviously Kenya. 
Even if they're not allying themselves with the spaces outright, simply abiding them can be hugely beneficial to orbital air, especially long term, since, just like space, a corporation's outlook seems to be infinite. Interesting. So the High Riders are, well, like I say, space nomads. Um, <laughs> oh, I wanted to be a devil. Okay, was there another door up here? No, there wasn't by the looks of it. So, hmm, let's uh, buzz and scan and scan and buzz. Oh, there's a thing over here. Sell it at the stadium. It will be fine. What if the city comes looking for us? Let him try. <laughs> okay. I won't ask what it is you're shifting. What do we got here? Restrooms. Okay. Uh, and a staff only room. Cloak room. I want to steal a jacket. Right. Toilet inspection. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so obsessed with checking lavatories in games. It's it's. I think it's becoming a bit of a problem. Right. Nothing here. Ew. Oh, they're used. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I was, I was worried that people were stacking up fresh drinks on top of your rhinos. I just realized I just walked through the Used men's room as well. Real biz at Corporal Plaza. And now? And now I'm here. Oh. I wonder if she was a Corpo Exile. Speaking of Corpo Exiles, you are definitely Arasaka. No, no, you're not. Tiger Claws. Uh, okay. Fine. Uh, ooh. Hello! <laughs> what are you looking so upset about? Okay, bye bye. <laughs> it was only a matter of time before I walked in on somebody, I guess. Okay. Let's go and actually explore properly. So, shard on the bar. Let's go and pick that one up. Probably just going to be a bar menu, isn't it? Oh, Heavy Hearts pamphlet. Okay. Heavy Hearts open 24 7. Private booths, VIP rooms, huge dancing floor, banging tunes, and a finest selection of drugs and alcohol. Come whenever, but don't forget to leave once in a while. George Washington Street Dogtown, pyramid shaped building. Yeah, can't miss it. Let's go for a day, two, and then boom. Gone counter. Right, let's. Uh, hello. Hi, new in the area. Um, Lots of security. Get some high profile people through. You've got a really cool look, by the way. Not a hustle around. Got big guests in from the city? Mm-hmm. Almost every day. We get all kinds of traffic in here from peeps looking to settle their biz in peace and quiet. Not many sides us can offer that. Love to see what you got. All kinds of good stuff. Take a look. I literally just that second noticed that there's a fixer symbol just off to my left. Is I think this might be Mr. Hans's, sir. Uh, base of operations right what have we got uh plus, oh, hello buzzed energy drink recalled plus four max ram but at the cost of 50 percent less ram recovery rate oh okay a super sugar beverage of a thousand milligrams of caffeine that provides a tremendous boost to short-term productivity recalled for obvious reasons <laughs> yeah i don't think i'll bother actually seeing as it um it halves your ram recovery rate that's not really much benefit devil dick pepper chips <laughs> plus melee damage and damage received potato chips coated generously with powder made from the world's hottest pepper the devil dick pepper gloves recommended dolphin jerky oh, that's terrible on so many levels though frowned upon by most in america a, a in a coastal combat zone food is food makes sense what's why is this hold on why is this marked as is this a unique item military grade lactic acid recyclers Oh, permanently increases stamina regen rate by 2%. Due to known complications with lactic acidosis, this treatment for optimizing anaerobic energy generation is only authorized to be used by a small fraction of the world's national and corporate armed forces. Nice. Yes, I'll have that. Oh, I need to be I need to be checking like, every bar and every shop that I pass, I think, by the looks of it, because um you never know when they're they're gonna stock something that has a permanent stat boost. Right, what is? Let me see. Oh, another Heavy Hearts pamphlet. That's fine. We've seen that. Uh, sorry, madam. Let me just uh, pop through. Oh, hello. Oh, you're Bargast. Interesting. Archive conversation between Bargast's number 18190 and 9910. Head to... You get it? Fuck, head to... You're drunk. Fuck, yeah, I am. <laughs> so fucking what? Better skip Dogtown. Everyone here knows already about you stealing those drop weapons. <gasps> Ooh, have I got competition? 
Really had to, Shum. Why the fuck would you, though? You know what Hansen does to thieves. Had to grab it for someone. My advice is to fuck off from DT. You'll die here. Whatever, Shum. Um, looks like she didn't get very far. Uh, I won't mention that you're here if you don't mention that I'm here and... Yeah, I'm sure we'll come to some agreement. Hello. Are you Bargus? You are. Huh. Bargus armed guards just stood around in their bar. Anything of interest right here? No. What do I do so away? Huh. Because whatever you write, she'll do it for now. Ugh. Fucking up the whole biz, idiot. Interesting. I wonder if they're picking an operative then for some special, uh, some special gig. Right. Uh, quite enough of that. What was that? That's a door. I'm going to come back and check that out in a moment. That VIP... Oh, no, hold on. Wait, where's the indicator? Oh, the indicator for the fixer is that way. So... I'm obviously not getting in there. But that does lead up to the next level. Okay. Right, here we are. Elevator. <laughs> what? Something funny? Right, where did I spot a shard? I spotted a shard somewhere. What have we got? Security arrangements. Attention staff, we are expecting Mr. Hans to arrive in the coming days. He will be using the office until further notice. All staff members must double check the security measures at their posts. Additional tasks and shifts will be assigned shortly. The venue must be spotless. Mr. H expects perfection and so do I. If any incidents occur on your watch, I will have your head. Sarah. Sarah's somebody to be feared. Ah. I want to call the elevator. Right, surely that shard being there is an indication that that elevator is how we get to uh, Mr. H himself. All right, awesome. Uh, oh, hello. Whoa, many, many shard. What have we got? Oh, of course, makes sense. Yeah, heavy hearts pamphlets. Ahoy. Right, back onto the street. So, oh, hello. <gasps> oh no! Whoa, where did that go? Wait, where did that go? Did that go down by the main gate? Where the hell? Oh, there it is. Uh, okay, that's pretty close. Can I? Ooh, I wonder. Hey, can't you see me? Can I? Whoop. Try that again. No! <laughs> Why? Why do you like this game? Oh, my days. I'm not going to be able to get up there again now, am I? Yes! Okay. Uh, ah, right, problem. Oh no, we're good. Oh my god, what happened to this walkway? Oh, this is, uh, right. Um, <laughs> this could be fun. If I, no, hold on, if I do a, if I do a mad, where's that go? Uh -oh. Hello? Uh, if I do a mad jump here, I'm surely going to smash my head, aren't I? Uh, and then just go barreling down to the ground. So... Ah, hold on. This makes more sense. Uh-huh. Nice. That'll do. And of course, because it's a pain in the ass to get here, no resistance. Oh. Oh. Wait, hold on. Right, let's shut this thing up. Before Bargus actually notices. Uh, what do we need? E97ABD1C. E9... 7A. Yeah, nice and easy. E9, 7A, BD, 1C. Lovely. Silence! Red box from the heavens. What do we got? A crusher? A vivisector? Ooh, a shotgun mod. 
<laughs> oh, wow. <gasps> if only I was shotty main. Plus 100% dismemberment chance. Nice. Plus 25% torso damage. Okay. Karen capacity shard. Love that they come packed in with each one of these. Um, now. Oh, hello. Is that a Colby? Uh, wait. Data access point? Oh. I think I'm picking up the box. Yeah, Colby Bargast. Good guy. Where? No, no, you're the one who. Wait, where is this? Wait, will you keep your voice down? I'm trying to work out what the hell I am. I want to get down to um, <laughs> Kurt for prayers. Mm, yeah, I don't think uh -huh. so. Oh, balls. No, that's that's really gonna hurt if I get in there. Um, ah, whoa, that was scary. <laughs> oh! Okay, that's one way to get down, I guess. Jesus Christ. Okay. Not my finest moment, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm healing up quick. Oh, hello. There's a shard uh -huh. there. Oh, poo. Um, <laughs> I I really want to... I really want to uh -huh. get over there and and read what that is. Right. We've got a scissor lift uh -uh. here. That's fine. Let's see if I can get a bearing on exactly where that shard uh -huh. was. Hold on. Real. Right there on you. that unit. Okay. Wait, what are they? What are they touched? What have they uh -oh. done? Okay. Thought something was going to explode or something uh -oh. then. Hey, they don't seem to be taking much notice yeah. of me. Actually, I could potentially sneak up and uh -huh. uh, and read this. But I do have my finger over the um, the stealthy mm. stealth button, just to be sure. Still good. Still good. Archive conversation between Stephen uh. O'Brien and Ellie Lidman. Something's up with the airdrops lately. Sending you the coords where it landed this time. Ah, it's all because of those thieving gonks in those stacks. Yeah, those gonks intercepting those boxes. God, curse them, eh? <laughs> they jam our sick and drop coords get messed up. Can you reach it? Oh, oh right, I see. So they're not actually supposed to be landing in these spots. Not really. Okay, I'll send you a lift and some gear. Bream, waiting on it. Oh! <laughs> I hate to uh -huh. be the one to tell you, but um, yeah, you're a bit late for uh, for picking that particular one up. So what's oh oh this isn't the this isn't the gate that I've been through before. Oh hello, that's another drop pod. Except it's already long since dropped by the looks of it. Um, so where does this, it looks like this particular gate has not been used in a long, long time, but it, it is some sort of a gate. All right, anything of interest around here? People huffing chems by the looks of it. Ooh. Ooh. What that? So where are we? Oh, I see. This is... Wait, I think. Yeah, okay. So this looks like this used to be a gate, but it's been it's been blocked off for a long while. I think that's somewhere near where... No, I'm getting my locations confused. I thought it was... Um... I thought that came out at a location where uh, a young lady lost her life after going into the combat zone um, that we discovered <gasps> a long while back. But she... Whoa, hello. Can I help you? Uh, what's, what's over? Oh, wow. Well, I ended up here. Whoa. What is, hello. Wait. You're Bargast, right? No, you're a junkie. Interesting. Where the hell am I? This is a most unsavory part of town by the looks of it. Not that, um... Not that there's anywhere particularly savoury in, um, in Dogtown. Huh. Well, that was an interesting little journey. I've quite forgotten where the hell it was I actually wanted to be. <laughs> where was I actually aiming to go? Let's head back out to the, uh, the sh Whoa, hold on. No, no, Something please, inspectable no. over there. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Jacqueline Peel? The hell's going on with you, Jacqueline Peel? Wait, she's not she's not a cyber psycho, is she? Uh, right, hold on. Let's do a quick reboot optics until I can 
get a bearing on what the hell's going on. Jacqueline. I think she may be a cyber psycho, so I'd like to grab her. Oh, crap, she's got brake hold. Stop it. I can't work out if she's made... Whoa, God, she hits hard. Right. Oh, God, she's really solid as well. Um, What or who the hell are you, Jacqueline Peel? Right. I'd love to actually put you to sleep if I can. I'm not sure. Hold on. Synapse Burnout, I think, is non-lethal, isn't it? I'm just worried. Damage, physical, combat, quick hack. No, it's a physical one. Um, Have I got something here that is non-lethal? I don't think I actually have. Do you need damage over time? No, oh, nuts. System collapse is most definitely lethal. Neutralizing an enemy reduces trace progress by 40%. Nice. Um, Subpsychosis, contagion. I think that's non-lethal. Maybe. Poison damage over time. Apply a burn or overheat effect against an affected enemy will cause a leak toxic substance to detonate. <gasps> wow, I never knew that. Oh, amazing. So if I infect somebody with contagion... Oh, she's actually really hurt anyway. Bleed might take her down at this rate. Uh, let's do a quick scan of this body over here as well. Body unresponsive. No pulse. Multiple stab wounds. She is down. She is down, but I think she's okay. What the hell's going on with you? Um, right, devil dick pepper chips. Uh, I'll eat those, why not? Ooh, cyberware capacity shard, nice, right. Black lace, ass kick, cyberware capacity, and an archive conversation between Jacqueline Peel and Lucas McDonald. I wonder if Lucas is the body next to me. Oh no, 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 this isn't happening. Did I or did I not tell you to stay out of Dogtown? There's blood on my hands. I don't remember anything. What did you take? Something at Heavy Hearts, blacked out. Fuck, this body's here. Get back to Night City, quick. Jesus, okay. Just gotta calm down. It's all in my head. I need to take something. Fuck, Jax, don't take anything else. You hear me? Oh no! She got so pumped up on meds. She came down here, killed some innocent people. Presumably innocent people. Oh no! Oh, she went to town! <gasps> Archive conversation. Hunter Barber and Nicholas McIntosh. Hey. Yeah, I, I see. Don't move. Maybe she won't notice us. Holy fuck. Fuck. She's wailing on Tom. She's going to kill him. Fucking fuck. Hunter, do not move. What, I got to sit and watch? Don't do anything, please. Junky bitch. Shim, come on. i got to help him. No, stay right there. Be quiet. Begging you. Nah, I'm going over. No. Oh, no. Uh. Huh. <laughs> I... I don't want to finish her off. I know she's not a cyber psycho, but I, I don't particularly want to... Uh, Want to end her? Oh god, what a sorry state of affairs. Um, what is this a thing? Can confirm, not a thing. Right, uh, I'm going to leave her to chance, I guess. No gang affiliation either. She just OD'd, and I, I think she probably was bordering on cyber psychosis. Holy crap! This is Kurt Hansen. Hello, Kurt Hansen. Right. Oh, I know where I was going to go. I was going to take a look at that little um, biogest enclosure that seemed to be near that that old gate. But um, never mind, we can leave that another time. Okay, I think I'm going to make a beeline for our uh, our man Aaron. See if I can't uh, work out exactly what area he's in. Um, because I'm pretty certain. In fact, let's uh, let's get some wheels for this. As lovely as it is, maybe I'll give the. Uh, the new Maki guy. What's it? Maki guy... Uh, Tanishi. Yeah, maybe I'll give that a bit of a miss for now. Let's get the... Let's get something nice and low-key that isn't going to uh, draw any unwanted attention uh, to me whilst I'm here in Dogtown. Yeah, Caliburn should do it. <laughs> Hello, my... Oh my god, somebody's crashed into it already. And in a Mai Mai as well. What the hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> Rubbish. They scr oh my god, they properly scratched it up.
All right. Utterly, utterly overkill for going a block or two to uh, <laughs> try and get well, up to Aaron. But screw it. Uh, well. Oh, hello. What are you? Uh, yeah, Coco Seiya, but I, I take it that is... <gasps> oh, interesting. I take it that that is Bargast. Interesting that you've got biohazard cleanup crews here. Emergency brake, floor it, self-destruct. <laughs> I'm tempted to just see what happens. Is this going to draw, draw a little bit of attention to me? Screw it. That was... Oh, oh no. It managed to impale itself by the looks of it. <laughs> you should pay more attention to the road, my friend. You can end up in a sticky situation. Oh, jeez. Uh, you okay? Whoa. <gasps> oh, God. Scout's in the middle of a chase. <laughs> okay, this could be interesting. Right, let me just grab the popcorn. I want to see how this one turns out. Wait, hold on. The scavs were fighting each other. What the hell? <laughs> what happened there? You are a scavenger, right? No, you're a junkie. <laughs> Random junkie just popped out of nowhere and joined in the fight. Amazing. Wow. Um, Vargas, you've kind of got your ass saved by a random junkie. I'm quite impressed. <laughs> like, seriously impressed. Okay. Um, I'm not going to go there and uh, scavenge the, the goods from the scavs. That might uh, attract the ire of the... Oh, God, there's enough trauma loose. Might attract the ire of the Bargast. Oh, this... I know where we are. This is where... This is where we hopped in a car. And, uh... Oh, another supply drop. Nice. That's mighty well-timed. Oh, isn't that convenient? Oh, we do have opposition here, though. Looks like... Oh, great. <laughs> Come on! Okay. Right, same tactic as before. Let's see if we can't find the, uh, the beefiest of beef mongers. You look like you're a beefy one. Yes, you over there. You are a prime candidate for cyber psychosis. Look over there! Cyber Psycho on the loose! Don't know! I'll tell you what I can do. Try out this new... Nice! Cloaking now completely breaks combat. Love that. Uh, let's go for a reboot optics on you so I don't draw unwanted attention. I'll tell you what I'm going to do as well. I'm going to get rid of... Do you know what? I never used those nose before, did I? I don't think I ever actually pulled it out. Let's... Uh, 504 physical damage. It's actually not as effective as a, um, as a regular grenade, but, uh... <laughs> oh, nobody noticed. Amazing. Oh, there's another big boss over there. Oh, still this thing where if you have your blade out, you can't zoom as much. Right, where's the big one? There you are. Another Bargus gunner. Oh, but I don't have enough ram. There we go. Lovely. No, no, don't pay attention to me. You've got bigger things to worry about over there. Come out. Let's go for an overheat. Oh, actually, let's try this. No, I'll save Contagion, actually. Or will I? Let's... No, let's throw Contagion on you. Follow that up by overheat. I want to see this explosive gas effect. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that. Right, I do have a trace in progress, but... um. Zero Fs were given that day. Ah, you just singled yourself out for uh, a little bit of a beating. Save yourselves, people. Sit. 
Oh, cheeky. Dirty dog. Right, you. Uh, let's go for reboot optics. Whoa. All right. Calm yourselves. Cheeky. Uh-oh. Nope, don't want that. Let's throw. Can we throw? Oh, I've got no ram left at all. Rubbish. Not even for the close one. Whoa! Somebody's angry. Nose up, nose out. Oh, lovely purple smoke. <laughs> exactly what I thought. Ooh, there's more? I have more fans? Oh, I do. Blimey. Right, you look like fun. Uh, let's go for a... Overheat on you. Meanwhile... Jesus. No, no. Just V. Mercenary for hire. I'll leave you my business card. Greetings. Right, you... Get... Wait, hold on. Why is that? Why is there a quick hack highlighted on a dead body? That's confusing. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. So, really intrigued. What's going on? Is that is that the cyber psychosis? It's kind of stuck because he's kind of not alive anymore. I think it must be pyro weapon mod. Right, let's uh, let's go and have a quick scan. I'll just do a very quick recce of the place, just to look for... In fact, let's shut this thing up. Wait. Oh, interesting. It's still doing the bibbidi boot, but it's been opened. Right, we've got quick tech components. Biotech Mark IV. Oh, good, that shut it up. Um, what's Biotech Mark IV? It allows you to perform quick hacks on enemies and devices while scanning. I thought that was just... Oh, it's a cyber deck. Right, got you, got you, got you. Ooh. It'd be interesting to see if that's higher tier to what I've got. And another carrying capacity shard. Nice. Ooh, what have we here? Oh, hello. Uh, why is... <laughs> why are there cyber limbs just sat there? I've had a conversation between Kyle Aroju and Jabez Rice. Yo, how many Bargus soldiers did it take to unload an airdrop? How many? Uh, I'm fucking asking how much longer it's going to take with my order. <laughs> Ah, oh, I thought you were sending up a joke there. I've got to be honest, so did I? Um, no, it'll be ready when it's ready. Great. I'll tell that to my super when he asks uh, why the recruits are sitting around waiting for implants instead of out there on the street working. Uh, what did you order? I, I can look it up and send it along first. Urgent stuff is blood pumps, deers, a pound dispensers, metabolic editors. You out again? Uh, we just sent you all that. Chim, you better, uh, you better put up some cams in that storage of yours. You better quit pissing me off. <laughs> oh dear, someone was getting smart. Um... Now, I'll take a quick look around just to see if there are any... Oh, I can look at my mini-map, can't I? To see if there's any juicy juiciness. Here's a juicy. Thank you, juicy. 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 Right. Lovely. That'll do. So, let's check out what's around here. So, this is... Uh... Oh, I remember this! This is the area that I turned in when I had um, Rosalind in the, uh, in the passenger seat of that car. I did a bit of a loop. Oh, that's nice. Is that another, um... So yeah, is it another Supron? Look how... No pun intended. Look how souped this up it, it, up this is compared to a uh, regular Supron. Oh, and it's got active... Wait. Is this a weaponized vehicle? <laughs> uh, how do I... How do I... Draw... <gasps> oh, very cool. Weaponized vehicles. Some cars are equipped with various weaponry like machine guns or missile launchers. Hold RB to shoot. You'll lock on enemies automatically by default. This setting can be changed in the settings menu. Why to switch weapons? Hold LB to aim manually and press B to exit vehicle combat. So, oh, so it follows a little red reticule. Ooh. Um. Oh, and there's a laser. Nice. Cycle weapon. Does this... Oh, really? <laughs> oh, my... Really? <gasps> That's beautiful. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, very cool. 
Okay, it's just that and the machine guns. Oh, there's only two more. Oh, I see. Bottom right there. The, the shots actually uh, regenerate after a while. That's seriously nice. <laughs> I want one. <laughs> That's the coolest. The coolest Supron. Oh, what? I can roll cage? Oh, okay. Right, I need to stop um, need to stop gushing over a, uh, a souped-up Supron. <laughs> it's very really nice, though. So, this is the area. That's the building. I Hello? River? Oh, God. Well, this is going to be awkward. Hey, how goes it? I still think about... Still think about me from time to time? Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> how honest do you want me to be, River? Um, oh, I just realised that the big flying ship is directly in front of me up that up that uh, staircase. Not right now, sorry. Got a pretty demanding gig. Need to stay focused. That would be a nice shrug off. I could use your input for this complicated gig I'm on right now. Um, I don't want to string the guy along. I don't kind of want him to have the impression that he is still of any relevance or importance in my life, as much as that might sound. I was actually thinking about you. My imagination was running wild until you interrupted me. Um, I, I think I might just kind of... Yeah, just shrug him off for now. Yeah, pretty demanding gig. Need to, uh, need to focus on my, uh, my game. Yeah. Bye, River. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I did a bit of a U-turn in, in this thing when I had, um, oh dear. When I had Elizabeth Perales here. Wait, are you a scav? Did I see a scav mask? No, you're a junkie. Right, a junkie with frag grenades, apparently. Who or what the hell? I don't recognize the clothing. It's pretty generic clothing. Okay, I don't think... Ooh, hello. There's a, a garage with a locked indicator. That piques my interest. Ah, oh, gotta have authorized entry. And there is a code entry as well. Can I hack this? No, oh, sad times. I cannot. Hmm, okay. I'll have to uh, keep my eyes and ears open for a code for that as we progress. But for now, what do we actually have here? Terra Cognita. Grand O... Ah! Who's shooting? Oh, okay. <laughs> Apparently it's over. Um, Grand opening June 10th, 2069. Uh, hmm. That's interesting. Oh, there's more hanging bodies. How pleasant. Welcome, Terra Cognita. Info, food court, exhibitions, parking. Right. Is this where Aaron wants to meet? Yeah, he's in this sort of direction, isn't it? Whoa. Uh, yeah, so that is... Yeah, there we go. Akibon. That's the building where I escaped with Elizabeth Perales. So this is sort of leaving the main city. And this is, what, like a technology park? Oh, God, here we go. Anatomicon, the human recondition. I see what you did there. Organitopia, Organic Planet. ESC Explorer, European Space Council. Okay, Stellar Conquest. Die, die, die. Uh, I wonder what that was lined up to be. A bit sad that I can't see it. June 10th, 2069. I... Mm. Oh, that was the outbreak of the Unification War, I think. Was it? I've got a weird status effect on me. What's that? Hold on. What's... Oh. Apparently not. I've got a status effect indicator. Right, so... I think the indicator is leading me to Organitopia. So I don't want to go there. I want to explore the other places. What have we got? So this is the... This must be the ESC place. Well, first of all... Not terminals. Uh, not terminals. Kiosks here. Digimortal cyberware technology. Oh, hold on. Terra Cognita technology park. Main building exhibitions. So which one's the... Right, judging by that symbol there, I guess that's our main building. So, Digimortal cyberware technology on first floor, along with Chu 2.0 Nova Super Wheels. Chu... Right, so this was the advent of... Was that around the time of the, the advent of Chu 2? 
Okay, a uh, Avation Nation, Sky's No Limit, and uh, Militech Engineering Liberty. Left second level, Sat Wave Twenty One Hundred Power Plant Microwave. Uh, oh, okay. I think that's maybe in relation to the power plant just outside the city. Uh, Combat Zone Weapon Technology. Digiscape Future Net and Arasaka Mirai. What's Arasaka Mirai on the third level? What that? Never heard of him. Wait, have I heard of a Mirai? I feel like I might have actually. Mirai, 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 Mirai. Name is ringing vague bells. Um, right, so that's the main building up there, but I kind of want to see what is going on over here. Here we go. So this is a separate, separate information board for the secondary building, ESC Explorer Stellar Conquest. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, hello. Who we got here? Who are you? Oh. Okay. Blazer. No affiliation. Interesting. Rat. No affiliation. And they're normally scavengers, right? No, they're not actually. Oh, they're just petting a cat. Okay, I'll leave them be. <laughs> you can breathe on for now. What's that round building? I kind of want to... I don't want to go next to them, really, but... Uh... What be this? Right, I'm not getting in there by the looks of it. No, looks like... Oh. There's a thing. What's going on here? Hmm, okay. Oh, hello. What that? <gasps> Dirty scavs. What exactly is that symbol? Not showing up on my map. Right, okay. Well, that's in the main building anyway. So, no, it isn't. No, this is that's the building that I actually want to go to. Mercy is for the weak. Die. Pleasant. Oh. Well, actually, we struck set at that convoy at Longshore Stacks. <laughs> Huge haul. Chrome, computers, everything we need. I transport all to construction site. Why I was late. Construction site? When which construction site? Dogtown is one big construction site that never got completed. Right, so we have hardware here by the looks of it. Uh, let's go to... Camera control. Let's see. I wouldn't mind maybe taking over all of these turrets and uh, making them friendly to my cause. What have we got? Oh, that's at the top of the ramp. So this is, what, an alternate entrance? Not sure if I even could have... Oh, hold on. That's linked... Oh, that's linked to something. Oh, interesting. I've never seen a... A gate or, or an object being linked to a button panel before. Very cool. This is... Oh, <laughs> they have a bot. A modified Arasaka MRS drone belongs to the scavs. Dirty dog. So, let's throw uh, cyberpsychosis at it. Why not? See what happens. I wonder if that might actually draw the scavs from outside in. Could we also... Yeah, let's go into... Friendly mode. Right, the drone is doing precisely sod all for us, so that's sad. I wonder if the turret's actually going to spot... Uh... Yeah, crap. At least I've taken the drone down, I guess. Kind of disappointing. Oh, wait. Is it... Hold on. What's it doing? <laughs> Is it still friendly? I can't actually tell. Anyway, turrets in friendly mode. That's the main thing. Oh, hold on. There's a control panel there. Interesting. Uh, oh, this is just down from... <laughs> yeah, drone's definitely down. This is just down from where I was looking before. Any more turrets I could take over? Wait, what's that?
can't see any more drones. There do seem to be rather a lot of uh, scavengers, though, by the looks of things. Right. Well, might as well start off with putting this into friendly mode. Get that to wipe out some folk. Wait, is he... <laughs> What's going on? Why is nothing doing what I think it should be doing? Oh. Is there, wait, is there an entrance to this round thing here? Hmm. Still want to know what that icon is, but... Okay. Right, you there. Um... Let's run a ping on you. I could probably... Probably could... Oh, hello. Why are you glowing? Are you are you a runner? Spider. Yes, you are. Right, I need to take you out. Uh, you are also targetable. Ooh, there is... Scaffolding over there. Interesting. Yeah, all right. Calm yourself down. Well, I'm going to have to work out the best way to approach this, I think. Um, there's an awful lot of scavengers inside, and I'd like to uh, make them all not exist anymore, but I'm going to have to play it carefully, I think, to make sure that they don't uh, exact the same sort of effect upon me. Is this a door? It is. Does this have... Wait. Is this the one that had the camera above it? Is this the one that is linked with a button? Oh, hello. There's an entrance there. Very well defended, though. No, I don't think this is the one that's linked with the button panel. No, it doesn't seem to be. Ooh. No! <laughs> <laughs> My god, I'm sucking at the whole jumping thing, aren't I? Uh... Yeah, I need to make sure that I'm uh, I'm approaching this sensibly and logically and with great forward planning and forethought. Oh! <coughs> Which isn't my forte, but um, <laughs> maybe I'll practice that jump a couple more times. But in the meantime, guys, thanks for joining me. Um, I will get up there eventually. <laughs> How many different ways can I possibly suck in one episode? But uh, if you would like to leave a like, or you care to leave a comment, pop those down below in the usual spot. Um, it's all appreciated. And um, hopefully... Uh, yes! <laughs> Success! Hopefully I get to take out some scavengers next time. But until then, take care of yourselves. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>